Christians gathered in big numbers at All Saints Cathedral Nakasero to abide farewell to the late Justice Kenneth Kakuru. Archbishop Dr. Samuel Stephen Kazim Mamgalu applauded the late for his contribution towards the church, noting that he was among the team that made amendments to the Church of Uganda Constitution. Of Ankole Diocese, a legal advisor. And he contributed a lot. He also served as a, uh, you know, on, on a provincial assembly, which is our parliament. And the provincial assembly standing committee, which is actually the one doing the technical work and important work of the church. And uh, he contributed to uh, a resolution in our constitution, it is Article 13, 6. It says, a bishop shall retire after serving for a period of 15 years upon attaining the age 65 years, or whichever comes first. So this man, I remember him, things to do with retirement, he was always there. And I think MOPs, did they remember? But he has a good message. Death is not the end. There is life after that. Especially for those who accepted Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, and the life. He also commended the late for being a God-fearing person. And now we have a challenge of uh, homosexuals. Uh, and now I think I want to be in parliament and uh, see my Anglican is the members of parliament, whether they will say yes or no. Because some people may want to eat the money and hide and kill our nation. We shouldn't accept that because it's our country. We need to save our children. We shouldn't accept that. And this time when it comes to courts of law, don't cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cancel it. Uh, pray the Lord. Chief Justice Alfonso Winidoro retaliated the royalty. Justice Kakure exhibited during his life. He was a very loyal friend. Not many people are loyal friends. <clears throat> Only a loyal friend can remain your friend even when you are dead. In many friendships, death do us part. I had no problem with Kenneth. As a matter of fact, I appointed him in charge of organizing the registry, cause listing. So we are according, which is his entitlement, we are according him official burial, official funeral, right from getting his body from Nairobi to taking it to Mbarara and interring him is the responsibility of the judiciary and we are ready for it. We shall do that. The children of the late Justice Kenneth Kakuru and the widow Charity Kakuru eulogized their fellow Nihiro. He supported me, supported my father, my mother's family in any way needed despite of our age difference. Uh, I learned a lot of skills in relation to work and people. My sweetie was one of a kind. We enjoyed working together on a personal level regardless of his title status outside the home, like bathing Lucy, looked forward to going home, bathing Lucy, playing with her toy guns, drawings, <laughs> washing clothes. <laughs> I guess you, you will see uh, ironing clothes. <laughs> you see in the pictures. He didn't find any problem with that. Whenever housemaids left. When I was growing up, my bedroom was opposite his, and he woke up really early, and then he would start singing. 
Red is thy faithfulness. And you're in bed and you're like, why? But that would always be our, our wake up call. Like every night, every night, even when we're adults, he would come in the middle of the night and touch our faces. So you just feel a hand touching your face. He left a very big impact in everyone's life. He was an overachiever. He was not forgettable. Um, and he excelled in all these things. So you can only imagine um, what he was like in one of the most important roles that he had, and that was being a dad to us. Yeah, but we got to be there for him. He called us his army, and that, that means everything. That means everything to know that he knew that we were there for him, no matter what, no matter what. Friends of the deceased were also at hand to give in their eulogies. Let me thank the people who loved and appreciated Kenneth. We call him Kakuru because that's how we call him. He did not want anything. Zambas. He didn't want that, and we didn't want it for him. So, thank you so much, my Lord. When I called you, when you called me back, and I told you that I was calling in two capacities. As government, as the chief justice, because he was, that's where he, he, he was. But then I also remember I told you, I said, but, but I'm also calling you personally. Because I want to thank you that though you are the chief justice. You can retire from active service but you go into reserve and volunteer reserve and eternal reserve. So we shall retire. About Justice Kapuru, he was unique. He served as a judge without fear, favor, or ill will. They didn't matter to him who you were, where you came from. I'm sure if there was anybody spiritual who came to him, he would tell him exactly what he told everybody. You can retire from active service, but you go into reserve and volunteer reserve and eternal reserve. So we shall retire. Ensure people speak about the good things you did when you are passing. I hope my book will be, my name will be in the book of those who did good things when they were still <laughs> on earth. <laughs> Maria, I'm very grateful Somebody has read my epitaph when I'm still alive. Thank you for saying good things about me when I, <laughs> when I can hear them. You know, it's interesting, these fellows in the papers, you know, I'm one of the people who have read their epitaph. I read it on television. Justice Kenneth Kakuru will be buried Saturday, 11th March 2023, at Rabi Shure in Barara.